Bush Brothers and Company is a family-owned corporation best known for its Bush's best brand canned baked beans. The company produces approximately 80% of the canned baked beans consumed in the United States, representing estimated annual sales in excess of $400 million and the processing of more than 55 million pounds of beans per year. In addition, the company also offers other canned beans black, garbanzo, pinto, and refried, as well as peas, hominy, and cut green beans. Based in Knoxville, Tennessee, Bush Brothers operates plants in Augusta, Wisconsin and Chestnut Hill, Tennessee. Its canned goods are sold through retail food outlets and food service operators throughout the United States and Canada. Topic history In 1904, A. J. Andrew Jackson Bush partnered with the Stokely family to open a tomato cannery in Chestnut Hill, Tennessee. His cannery proved so profitable that, by 1908, he was able to buy out the Stokely's interest and establish his own independent business. He entered into partnership with his two oldest sons, Fred and Claude, and established Bush Brothers and Company. Topic incorporation and expansion 1922 to 1935 In 1922, A.J. Bush took out a $945 loan on his life insurance policy and used his bank line of credit to incorporate his business. Bush Brothers and Company was incorporated in June 1922, and Fred Bush, AJ's oldest son, was named president. Fred was also a director of the National Canners Association, the primary industry trade group for canning companies. The company's canning operations originally began with laborious manual processes, then expanding with steam-powered engines, and eventually evolving on into electric-powered factory machinery. During the 1920s, Bush Brothers and Company began expanding its operations to include products other than tomatoes. The company constructed a small canning factory in Clinton, Tennessee in 1923, and began canning both tomatoes and peaches in 1924. The year 1928 saw the company's expansion into corn and hominy, as well as the lease of the Smith Brothers and Company's Oak Grove corn processing plant just outside Dandridge, Tennessee. And in 1930, Bush Brothers opened a new plant in La Follette, Tennessee, where it processed blueberries in addition to tomatoes. As the company continued to grow, the original cannery in Chestnut Hill became insufficient to meet its needs. Bush Brothers constructed a new building nearby in 1929, which would become the company's main canning facilities for many years. In 1933, Bush Brothers began offering pork and beans, canned under its Chestnut Hill label. The success of their product led to a contract with Armour and & Company and to a wide array of canned meats. The company also started up a canning line for Tony Dog and Cat Food, which it would continue to sell until the 1980s. By 1935, Bush Brothers were seeing significant expansion and were highlighted in newspaper articles for canning 10 million cans of vegetables a year, operating 2,000 acres of company owned farmland, and contracting with 500 farmers to supply vegetables. Topic properties lost to Tennessee Valley Authority 1942 to 1948 in 1942 the Tennessee Valley Authority announced the closing of the Douglas Dam floodgates within the year the end result would be the flooding of the French Broad River bottom where Bush brothers had a number of farms after several months of negotiation, Bush Brothers and Company agreed to sell seven prime tracts of their farmland to the TVA, as well as the Oak Grove canning plant. In October 1944, Bush Brothers attempted to offset some of their farmland loss by purchasing the Blytheville Canning Company in Arkansas. 
However, the plant was in bad shape and struggled during its first four years of Bush ownership. Claude Bush moved to Arkansas in 1948 to oversee the facilities and eventually managed to turn it into a profitable business. Topic expansion and change 1946 to 1965 Following A. J. Bush's death in 1946, Bush Brothers and Company made the move from private label to branded presence. They began offering their goods under the newly developed Bush's Best logo and label. With the advent of supermarkets and television advertising, the 1950s proved very profitable for the company. During this time, they continue to offer a variety of canned vegetables, particularly green beans. They also began offering the dry bean products for which they would eventually become known. In 1952, the company introduced their Great Northern Beans with plain sauce. This was followed in 1953 by Mexican style beans in chili gravy. Claude Bush became president of the company in 1959, following the death of his older brother Fred. Bush Brothers and Company had amassed a substantial amount of cash and accounts receivable under Fred, and Claude felt the money would best be put to use expanding the company's business into new areas. The 1960s saw the purchase of several canning plants, including Sheokton Kraut Company, Sheokton, Wisconsin, Hyde Park Canning Company, Muskogee, Oklahoma, an unused canning plant in Augusta, Wisconsin, and Valley Canning Sweet Potato Plants in Ville Platte and Cecilia, Louisiana. Bush Brothers and Company also created its own truck line, Tennessee Truck Lines, in 1962. In 1965, Claude became chairman of the board, and brother in law C.J. Ethier succeeded him as president. Topic Bush's Best Baked Beans 1969 The year 1969 proved to be a tough one for the canning industry due to overproduction and low prices. As the family stockholders considered their options and discussed strategies for riding out the tough times ahead, Claude's son Condon Bush hit on the idea of offering a new product that would appeal to a wide audience as well as keep his Augusta plant busy during the off-season. Inspired by the company's earlier success with pork and beans, Condon decided to develop a baked bean product based on his mother Kathleen's secret recipe. The experiment proved far more successful than the Bush family had ever imagined. Sales of Bush's best baked beans went from 10,000 cases in 1969 to 100,000 in 1970, eventually hitting close to a million cases in 1971. Baked beans became a very popular dish during the United States Bicentennial, and so Bush Brothers decided to devote all of their resources to Bush's best baked beans sales. Their campaign was a success, with sales increasing by 173% in 1976, and an additional 34% in 1977. In 1978, Claude stepped down as chairman of the board, and C.J. Ethier replaced him. Condon was elected as the new president of Bush Brothers and Company. Topic acquisition of Dubin 1979 to 1993 In 1979, Bush Brothers acquired the Dubin brand of canned foods when that company was sold, following bankruptcy. Canned vegetables, such as carrots, peas, and beets are sold primarily in the Louisiana and New Orleans areas as a regional brand. Throughout the 1980s, Bush Brothers continued to make its transition to a branded producer of table ready products. However, the shift was slow and fraught with tension as the family had trouble agreeing on the best course of action. 
After the death of C. J. Ethier in 1989 and Claude Bush in 1990, Jim Ethier son convinced Condon President and, CEO and Alan Bush Vice President of Sales to consult with Dr. Leon Danko of the Center for Family Business. Under Dr. Danko's guidance, Bush Brothers and Company reorganized its board of directors to include members from outside the family and the company. The restructured board included J. Carr, the Hershey Company, Bob Johnston, Gerber Products Company, Bill Trubeck, White and Case, and Clay Mathile, the Imes Company. With the new board in place, the company turned to the task of hiring professional sales managers. Office space in Chestnut Hill was filled to capacity, and the prospect of recruiting young, urban managers to such a rural location seemed unlikely. In 1991, Bush Brothers and Company moved its company headquarters to Knoxville, Tennessee. In 1992, Jim Ethier was elected president and COO of Bush Brothers and Company. Condon Bush moved to the position of CEO and chairman of the board. The restructured and reorganized company developed an overarching strategy in 1993. According to Jim Ethier, the first strategic plan defined the process that would enable us to get out of products where we were losing money, as well as away from business processes that no longer made sense. It was a defining step in the re-architecting of the company. Among other things, this plan involved consolidating the company's subsidiaries into a single entity and team, narrowing the company's focus to its most successful products, and placing a new emphasis on customer satisfaction through a primary excellence goal PEG organization. Topic J. Bush and Duke 1993 present In 1993, Bush Brothers and Company hired a small advertising company in Atlanta, Georgia called Cole, Henderson, Drake CHD to develop a new advertising campaign for their line of baked beans. The new ad focused on the secret family recipe, and introduced J. Bush Condon's son as the company's spokesperson. The ad performed well in test markets in 1993, and was released nationally in May 1994. In the summer 1995, a new ad paired Jay up with a mischievous, talking golden retriever named Duke. Modeled after Bush's real life pet golden retriever of the same name at the time, the dog itself experienced stage fright and was not properly camera trained. The campaign was created by CHD copywriter David Garzotto and was a huge hit for Bush Brothers, who saw a dramatic spike in baked bean sales. The popularity of the company's baked beans can be directly attributed to the success of the J. Bush and Duke commercials, as well as its catchphrase roll that beautiful bean footage, to market their products, which are made according to the secret family recipe with specially cured bacon, brown sugar, and a secret blend of spices. All the while, Jay is able to keep Duke from selling the secret family recipe, another running gag in the ads. As a result of the ad campaign, the duo became celebrities, and sales of the company's beans increased from a 48% national market share to 80%. The popularity of the commercial inspired the company to publish a children's book, Duke Finds a Home, published in 2006. In 2012, comedian Julie Klausner tweeted a suggestion that Bush Brothers offer a poetry contest, allowing the winner to pet Duke, who she had seen in a television commercial. The request was reiterated by numerous individuals on various social media sites and inspired an informal online petition to the company. On June 27, 2018, Sam, one of the dogs who played Duke on screen, was euthanized after being diagnosed with cancer. The role had already been recast several years before his death. Topic. Recent years 
The new Bush Visitor Center is an expansion from founder A. J. Bush's original general store in Chestnut Hill, TN, and includes a museum, retail shop and café. It also houses the guarded display of the Bush's Secret Family Recipe. Book Bush's Racing sponsor the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series No. 47 Chevy Camaro of JTG Doherty Racing Team, formerly driven by Bobby Labonte, and now driven by A.J. Almendinger. Bush Brothers and Company also sponsors the annual Bean and Bacon Days Festival in Augusta, Wisconsin, where the company acquired the old Augusta Canning Factory in 1961. On Oprah, in 2009, Christian Bush, great grandson of A.J. Bush and half of the band, Sugarland, mentioned that he no longer liked beans because he grew up on them. On July 23 of 2015, Bill Foster took to the company's Facebook page to declare, I am sick thinking about THOS sick beans. This post had a screenshot taken of the exchange and quickly became a meme on Reddit. As of late October there are over 800 signatures on a change.org petition for Bushes to give Foster a lifetime supply of THOS beans. <laughs> Brands Bushes Bush's Best Bush's Showboat Pork and Beans Blue Lake Cut Green Beans Tony Dog Food Tony Dog and Cat Food Dubin Premier Topic. See also List of food companies Baked beans Beans Canning Christian Bush, musician and half of the group, Sugarland, great-grandson of A.J. Bush List of American advertising characters List of mascots National Canners Association